Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I kind of debated what we were going to do today uh, because we have a lot of things. We need to make the solid fuel factory up here with the oil, and we need to make blue circuits, and we need to make everything else that is required for making sciences because we haven't actually got any sciences being made. Uh, not an outpost anyway. We are making a lot in our main base, but that's about it. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll have a science outpost on like the third level or the science level. Maybe we should do the third level for intermediate products like, I don't know, RCUs and LDSs and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the fourth level be science with the science lab kind of in the middle of that. That would be nice, <laughs> potentially. Because um, I don't think I want to put it in the main base. Not really. I don't think I want to do that. Anyway... So we're out here and I think we're going to make our blue circuit factory out here. Now, um, let's go ahead and make some kind of beginning to this, shall we? Um, do we use a blueprint? We might be able to do that, actually. Let's look at our blueprints. Actually, let's go to the sandbox, uh, which is here. And then we look at our rails, large outposts, blue circuits. Yeah, I think this would be good if we just kind of add this here. And we'll place it down so that we can change these uh, inputs and stuff. I think that would be a good good thing to do. All right, here we go. Let's just get rid of all of this. Yar? Okay. Now this would be the time if we wanted to change our... Uh, these guys. But I think, hmm, with the inputs for the other stuff, should be okay. Should be okay. All right, let, let's see what we can do here. So from here, so we did snip from a very specific place. So what we'll do is we'll take our four rails and we'll just um, figure out where this goes. So these are going to be, what's happening here? So these are in, in, where's the output? Output is here. Oh, all right. So output is on a completely different, or can be on a completely different line. Um, we are inputting red circuits and green circuits. Now, let's look where our red circuits are going. I think the red circuits are on the outer, aren't they? This, These are red circuits. Yeah. Th no, they're going on the inner. No, that's, that's the wrong thing. Red circuits are here. They're going outer. So for blue circuits, see green circuits, where are they going? Green circuits are also going outer. So blue, which is a combination of red and green and oil products, are outer. So where do we have the sulfuric acid going? Um, do we, we do have it, it's here. This one is going to this line here, which is inner. Hmm. I mean, we could, this is one of those things where it makes it very, very hard to work with uh, the inner outer system. But I guess we could mitigate this somewhat, right? By doing a extension to specifically toward bl blue circuits there. Okay, and then we do a bigger curve, or a curve from here to there. Uh, let's see, here, oopsies, shift to there. Okay, and this is meant only to go to blue circuits, which is going to be here. And also, we probably are going to have some instances where we're going to, we might need fuel and stuff. Yeah, mm, okay, let's do that. Let's fix that, and then let's put the signals down. We also need signals for this situation here. We're going to need a chain signal there and a regular signal coming out there. Okay. And then here we'll just make sure that we get a, a station, a signal there. Okay. That's looking good. Okay. So now we can take the sulfuric from the inner, which is effectively this it goes to the inner and make it uh, go to the outer line here. So what I want to do here is what do we have here? So we have green and red coming in and sulfuric acid. So that means we need both inner and outer tracks on this 
thing. So I guess what I do here is <laughs> put both of them on top of each other. <laughs> this is in inner, in outer. Okay. Uh, it seems to be mostly okay, actually, putting both on the same line here. We just need a little bit of movement with the signals. I'll put that up here. Is there anything else that we need? It seems actually like it fits quite well. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to copy this and put it in the book. Thank you autosave. Okay, let's put this in the book. Shift click it. Uh blueprint, let's see. Uh in both. In both. Uh except let's get rid of some of these excess signals here. Uh maybe actually both of these go. Yeah. Okay, create blueprint. I'm going to rename it and put it in the book here. So it's rails. These are rails in. Okay, so we'll put put that. Okay. Rails in. Okay. Okay, rails. No, would help if I can spell. Rails in both KOS. Okay, I think that should match them. So in IB, I guess. This quick book is getting too big, I feel. It's annoying. Um, so let's make another space for outer both. So in inner, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to do this and just put them on a different line. This is the turnaround. In outer, in both. So then we can have this thing. Let's copy this. So we save the um, the metadata for that. Actually, let me copy this stuff as well to the other one. That's the annoying part of doing blueprints is like copying all this stuff over so people can have the information. Okay, so, oh yes, I forgot to do this. This should be a railroad truck. Pipette! Hey, hey, I would have loved a pipette there. In both. B. Yes. Uh, if you didn't get that reference, um, I'm talking about the last FFF I did, um, which is currently uploading, right, or probably done uploading. I, we're on a really fast connection over here, so um, I think it's probably uploaded, but I need to just release it to everyone, and I'll do that right after I produce this episode here. So now we have this situation where we have the both over here, and, and, hello, where did it go? Yo, here. Okay, so let's... Let's take this railroad block. Also, I'm really curious how this repeating stuff is going to work. I'm really fascinated by that. Okay, there we... Why did that... That was weird that it got, like, funky. I don't know. No, 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 no. Come on, thing. Just behave yourself. Please behave yourself, thing. I just want to remove these items and signals so that we can put down the out junctions okay so rails out inner yeah rails out outer mm -hmm. yeah all right so now we need to just adjust the signals a bit here these are unhappy clearly this one is still unhappy. Why? I don't understand why that one's unhappy. Oh, because it's on the switch. That's why. That's not good. Okay, so this is what we have. Those... Do, 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 do. Okay. They seem... Good. Hmm. This one... Do we need... Oh, that one has there. Okay, good, good. Alright, cool. So this will be the rails. All right, nice. Uh, no, that doesn't connect. That's weird. That's weird that it doesn't connect. It should. Oh, that one. Okay, I had to move it one square. Okay. And you also are not working. We don't need that one there, though. So let's let's uh, let's go to our blueprint book. Yo, and we'll get this one. This is the out both. 
Create a cop. No, I didn't want a copy actually. I wanted a select new contents. So it's going to be something like this. A little bit too much on here. Take this out and the power pole. Save blueprint. Okay, we have the thing. Wait, what? I didn't do something right. What did I not do right? Eh. Grumble. Okay, let's fix it again. Did I not press the save blueprint? Probably. I probably just like pressed enter as I usually do. Because it's like that in every other part of the game. If you press enter, it's fine. But not in this part of the game. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why would we do this? Why would we do that? Yeah. All right. Anyway. So we do have the uh, blue, which has a chance now of going on the wrong track. Now, what we could do is we could have it forcibly go on an outer track. But I don't think it's that important. I don't think we're going to have that many blue chip trains, honestly. Uh, so I think it's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and put in another power pole there. And we will just copy this entire thing wholesale. Uh, let's do that. Also, um, a couple people have asked me for different blueprints. Um, I have not actually added uh, many th things uh, on the drive yet. Let's go and do from aerial aerial spaces here uh that looks good right there actually like the mall i have i need to actually make a proper uh build for that um because right now it's just very temporary within this save normally i when i make proper blueprints i do it kind of in a sandbox environment where i have access to everything and it's a lot uh, more you know i try to refine it and all that kind of stuff uh, just, but I haven't had any time to do that. I've been really behind on all of my work and I, I'm needing to move into my apartment and they're messing with me with the internet and it's like, oh my God, come on, fix that. And it's been like weeks since they were supposed to fix this and they haven't yet. So it's like very frustrating. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's like back and forth and, and it's, it makes things a bit hard to, to actually produce content because um, I have very much less time than normal that's what the issue is much less time so um, and I also have to go to the hospital twice a week for my feet and that's also not ideal as you can imagine come on come on bots we might have to pick up more rails actually come on bots though let's go oh my god they have almost no energy this is sad sad times for the bots oh no we might need to actually get the some roboports working because I have zero energy now or almost zero. Now it's at zero. Come on, do the do the rails, guys. Do the rails. Alright, I'll do the rails. Fine. Fine. I'll do the rails. I'll do this rail as well. Because it's important to get the rails sorted out so we can get everything else going. Uh, we do need the building train to come in here first. So I'm going to get power poles there. Okay, very good. So let's call the train. Let's get our, our train to go here. Um, and we'll do inactivity. Go ahead and go, please. Hello? Okay, that's not great. Something's wrong. Not sure what's wrong exactly. We should be able to get in here. All right, let's uh, do a, uh, go. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm just going to walk slowly because I don't know if I can change my speed fast enough when the train actually gets here if I go at 10 times speed. So here is the... Oh, we're missing that track piece over there. Okay, I see, I see. All right, we also can bring in a radar because we are definitely lacking that vision out here. And I'll just bring in uh, power poles to connect this. But we definitely need that last track piece. That's why the train can't come in here. It's this piece up at the top. There it goes. Okay, so that should be actually connecting our train into here. All right, train, you coming? Hello? Train, hello? There it comes. Okay, so periodically it checks its orders and see if, sees if it can fulfill them. 
All right, so we're going to let the train park here and say manual. Thank you very much. And do we have bots? We have some bots. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some extra railroad uh, tracks because we are short. And otherwise, the bots should be able to construct some of this. Now, I don't know how much is covered by Robo Network, so let's check that right now. All right, so some of it is. A lot of it is, actually. Yep, most of it, except uh, the tracks there are not, but that's okay. All right, so this area also has no power. I'm not really sure why, though. This should have power. Ah, it's power pull issue. We don't have enough power pulls. Okay. Well, that's fine. That is fine. Now, one thing we do need to make here is we definitely need to make a train to carry all that sulfuric acid. Now, do we have... How, how much fill-up do we have here? We have four cars of, or four tanker cars worth. So let's make four tanker cars on this specific thingy train. One, two, three, and four. Okay, very good, very good. We'll give you some fuel. Come on, there you go. Take some coal, that's excellent. And take the wood, excellent. That's even better. Um, and then, okay, we can get our personal logistics sorted out so they can give us stuff. So we're going to add this station onto our um, schedule. And then we'll add uh, sulfuric acid pickup. I think that's this one, right? I can't... Yeah, there it is. When we... Okay, so we're going to do... We're going to do two things here. We're going to do inactivity and time passed because here is where it's going to get its fuel. So we need to have like five seconds for it to load coal or whatever, not 50 five please come on brain you gotta work better so here we're gonna do empty cargo totally empty cargo okay go do your thing go get us some stuff please now we look now at our red circuit station and red circuits are being loaded onto huge huge trains why is that the case oh no this is a copper plate thing now red circuits here are being loaded into four different uh, carriages, but it does look like the latter ones have much more, wow, th thousands in these latter um, boxes, but they haven't quite filled up yet. So what we might want to do is do something like two empty carriages here and just fill in um, a train. <laughs> this is going to be kind of stupid looking, but let's try this. Let's go you, then we'll get the fish book out. A rails, fish book, uh, circuits, one, two, three, four. It's never going to have eight. So yeah, we're not going to do that. Let's just block off the first two cars. And then these guys are how many to a stack? All right, so if we add them, they are 200 to a stack. Okay, so... Um, if we have 40 times 200, that equals several. Uh, specifically, I think that's 8,000. 40 times 200. 4 times 2 is 8. Add an extra zero. Yeah, I think that's 8,000 per car. So what we're going to say here is if red circuit drop off, and then we go to go to RC1 pickup. So if cargo, if red circuits equal 8,000, no, no. If, we're, if red circuits equal red circuits, that's so nice. Uh, no, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, or maybe we should do greater than or equal to just in case weird things happen. Um, yeah, or time passed. 60 seconds. Hmm. That's fine. Then it can go. Now here we go empty cargo. Okay, so we're going to tell this train to go. It has no fuel, so let's give it some. There you go. Uh-huh. Go. Now, does RC pickup have fuel? I think it does. I think it actually does. Let's see. Do you guys have fuel around? Uh... They do, but the RC train isn't getting any. Dude, how does that work? That's not good. Here, take this. Make them have fuel. 
Oh, and the other ones don't have any fuel either. Why is this thing not getting fuel? Is it asking for any? It is. It is asking. And... Uh, hello? Where's the fuel on here? It's not asking for enough, evidently. The train stop is open because it's asking for uh, other things like uh, beacons and modules. But for whatever reason, the fuel request is not getting there. Oh, we have new problems, I think. I think... No, these are within Roboport range. Something is not happening right here. Because look at this. We have lots of fuel. But the fuel is not getting into these containers. <gasps> no, they're asking for the wrong kind. Oh, no. Copy. Paste. I don't know if that will work. Paste this one. Paste that one. Because they're asking for coal. And of course we don't have coal here. What a silly idea. Okay. Let's do that. Is this our new train? Yeah, this is our... Oh, look at this. The red circuits are definitely rising in here. We might get our 8,000. That's kind of badass. Yeah. All right, cool. This is very good. And then we need a million. Oh, it left. Good. So it got its correct amount of, uh, of red circuits. I'm going to put a train here. Now, keep in mind that we can always increase the number of, of cars that they are hauling and stuff like that. So don't worry about that too much. Now for our green circuits train, I think we're gonna go with four cars of green circuits and we'll go for a full cargo on that. Okay, so we're doing GC drop off, yeah. Let's do a an empty cargo here and then we're gonna go to green circuit pickup. Okay, uh, full cargo or 60 seconds passed. Okay. So go and fuel. Boom. Oh, I don't have any fuel anymore. Whoops. I think it, oh no, it went places, I think. Let's see, do we have any in here? We do. We do actually have some. Um, I'm going to take some here. This is our building train, of course. That's okay. Go do your thing. Do your thing. And here we go. We now have a lot of stuff in here. We can put down more items, which is great. Mm. Ooh, that's naughty. Okay, that's bad. That's a thing I need to correct on the blueprint, obviously. All right, so there we go. We are... Huh. Yeah, well, we only have two, um, two wagons there. So, okay, very cool. Um, that's our blue circuit area then. Let's, let's wait for the green circuit train to come round. Wait, why? Hello? Uh. Huh? I am very confused about why that train isn't picking up any sulfuric acid. It looks like there is zero right now. And I don't know why. Let's see. Why? Oh! Hmm, I think we don't have iron. Yeah, we never got iron in here. So we need to pick up iron. Where does that go? It goes here. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to get another thing of fuel. And we're going to make an iron train. It doesn't need to be big. Let's go and get you, and then we'll add a couple of cars here. Let's do four cars of iron. Don't think we... Oh, we should, we should be specific. Go back to the fish book. Don't be lazy. Come on. Come on, brain. You can do it. Rails, fish book, iron. Here you go. There we go. Oh my god. Whoops. Ho oh, ho! Just before the train came in. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, Alright, it's fine. Alright, so. Um, right. Tell the train we need to end up. Not there. We need to go to iron smelting plate pickup, full cargo, or time passed. You know what I would love to see? Like a thing that just let us have a default setting for trains. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice. All right, and then we're going to go to add station, plastic lube, thingy, iron. Eh? Hello? Why is it not called correctly? Hello? Plastic 
Sulfur lube iron drop off. It's right there. Why did I not see this? All right. Empty cargo. Okay, so go there, please, and do your thing. Pick up iron for this poor sulfuric acid train to do its thing. I want to watch this train. Can I watch it? Yeah, here we go. Now we're watching it. Uh, sort of. Can we do this? Yeah, we can. Look at this. Okay, we're going to watch this on its journey through our wonderful factory here. This is kind of cool. I will speed up time a little bit. Let's go to like three times speed so we can watch it do its thing. I love watching trains, you know. It's pretty great. It's really great. Ah, oh, Matias put on the most wonderful thing yesterday. It's the Lego Brickworks annual challenge thing. And I've never seen that before. I was like, oh, that's cool. No path. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. That's why it wouldn't find it. Okay, so we are here. Ah, oh, I see why. All right. So this is coming from an inner. No? Where is it going to? This is going to an inner. Okay. So inner is going to... Has to go here. Hmm. And has to come out as well. All right. So what we'll do is we'll get out of here and we're going to run up to oil and fix this problem. Because I failed to remember to do this. So basically we need a curve here. Okay, that has like a thing there. All right, that should get our train here. And then on the output, we need to have an outer going straight through the power pole. Yay. Going there. All right, so let's do this. Chain there. Chain here. Regular output here and there. Okay, cool. So let's go back down to our um, blue circuits land. And see if that's enough. I think that should be enough to get sulfuric acid. Let's go check though. We need to check on this iron train. Where is the... Oh, it, it already arrived. Okay, so we're looking for sulfuric acid to happen. There it is. Aha, we're getting some. All right, and it's pumping in. It's a little bit slow, but you can see the iron plates got here on the line. Now we're just crafting. We're just literally crafting stuff. And we're waiting on a lot of petroleum gas to fill up there. So I think, let's see, are we at, I think let's just go. Let's go and then we can see stuff happen here. Let's go back to game speed one and this train should be here shortly. There it is. Look at this. It's pretty great. You know what I would love is a picture-in-picture picture that we had with Transport Tycoon. Man, sometimes I had 16 trains I was watching. Everybody in their own little windows, and they were all tiled across like a, you know, like a desktop. It's kind of fantastic. So this means, do we get blue circuits? They are working. Yo, nice. Okay, so we are out of red... Uh, oh, we definitely need red thingy thingies because only this one machine can function right now. Uh, how are... Wait, are my bots there working? Why did this thing rearrange itself? Oh, God. Oh, because I did the import string thing. I'm going to take that off. I don't want import strings. That copied from my last game that I was playing here, which I definitely do not want uh, right now. All right, so we need to go back and get... Actually, why don't you go back to, uh, you know what? I'll go with you. <laughs> I'll go with you. I don't trust this. <laughs> so we're going to go over here now. I guess now we can go on both rail lines and go back to the base on the other track as well because we have instituted some changes. We have connected stuff together, ah, which I really didn't want to do. But it's kind of been needed now technically we could put this blue circuit train on on a specific line if we just you know change this trajectory here to go on its own separate thing but like i said i don't think that's going to be too much of a problem now it looks like these are outputting onto this red uh yeah we need these 
So I want you to go to here as soon as we fill up with enough stuff. How are we doing on power? Ah, we are using power. This is good because we were at like 25% usage before and that's not ideal for sure. So this is better. All right, better. Um, we still loading? Somewhat. Let's go back to blue circuits. And I really need to fill in at least one vertical line of blue circuits. Now, in terms of blue circuits, where are we? Let me look on here. Let me just bring this up in OBS. Uh, I don't have my stream deck, so it's a little bit less convenient. But we see here we need 16.9 machines. Well, 17 effectively, because that's a very strong percentage of 0.9 machines. Um, so 17 machines making blue circuits. I think our assembly has more than that, but we will just go ahead and count. Let me take this off. There we go. All right, so let's stop the train. Hello? There we go. Manual mode, please. And then I want to do this, like I said, vertical lines are the most important. We can hold a something, RoboPort or something. There we go. And see where our AOE is. Not really, though. Can we? Not really. Did we put in all of the... Yeah, we did. We put in all of the undergroundies. That, that's what's needed. All right. Now, these have zero modules. And I think... The calculator is asking for triple modules or uh, Mark III modules, but we have many machines. We've got 40 here. So that should be more than enough blue circuits, even if they're all not running. Uh, but they are, look at them all just chewing away. They are making stuff. And there we go. Our first blue circuits on the lines. That's beautiful. Very, very nice. So now that is made so now we can concentrate on making some of the um uh, more advanced products like rocket control units kind of things on this level of stuff we need rocket control units lds's rocket fuel um, but we also should be making things like engines and electric engines and flying robot do we need flying robot frames i think we do for one of the sciences actually we do yeah, they need it for yellow science because apparently drones help us do science. It's fine. You know, it's just fine. Uh, we can also make things like dynamite if we wanted to, explosives. That would be good. And I don't think we need anything else. I think we're pretty good. These guys just need like base stuff like plates and stuff. Um... Now with science, okay, here's a question. We're not there yet, so I'm not gonna build this next episode. So I want your opinion on this. So when we are making sciences, should I make the gears in a separate outpost? Should I make transporter belts in a separate outpost and inserters in a separate? So, so green science would effectively be three different outposts. What do you think? Because inserters are gears and and green circuits and plates, I think, right? Yeah. Gears, circuits, and plates. So we already have plates and circuits made. I guess we can make gears in a separate outpost and then bust them in for that. And then import belts and inserters. Now that's interesting, isn't it? And do we do the same with all of them? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, like engines, I guess we do those in a separate outpost. We can actually make blue science right now if we make an engine outpost. And these guys are a little bit different. Rails, that's going to be interesting. Uh, those are very, very hungry things. And it needs 30 rails for each purple science. That's scary. That's a lot of rails for purple science. Oh my god. I feel like making machines surrounded by rail machines. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Tell me in the comments. Do you want to make you want me to make all of these products in separate outposts? Uh, let me know, because usually we don't. Usually we have one outpost that's producing all these products and eventually goes to, you know, purple machines. And so a purple blueprint. I can actually show you a purple blueprint, which I have in my uh, thing here. Science. We have these kind of things that they make everything. Um, if we look at the big. Hmm. There's ones that I have that are... Are they real outposts? They might be real outposts. 
Um, I don't know where they are now. They're, they're in here somewhere. They've got to be in here somewhere, I think. Unless they're in my, like, end game. No, we just looked at this. And why? Oh, science! It's right here. It's in its own folder. You see how big they are? Can we look at this? Yeah, we can. I wish we could zoom into this. That would be so nice. We need to be able to zoom into blueprints. That That is needed. We need to zoom. All right, I'll write that in my FFF thing. So anyway, what we have here is we have the circuits, actual circuits being made, and then we have gears being made, and those go into, we also have, is this actually smelting in here? It is. Wow, this has got all the smelting and everything. You bring in ore. And then you end up with science. So these are these outposts are really, really modular. And this is what I, I have been doing for those, just to make sure you have enough smelting and all the things. And these are 1K science per minute. And they have everything. They literally have all the smelting, all the assembling and everything. But here, I think we're trying to do the opposite and go and make each product get in there. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and if you want to quack like a duck, that's fine too. <laughs> it's fine. Feed the ducks. Feed the algorithm. It's good for us. Um, so let's see. So now we kind of we've kind of done what we wanted to in this episode. I think the next episode I want to build the solid fuel factory, and that's going to be a non-blueprint thing because even though I have blueprints for this, they're made by other people. I gra grabbed one that does. Oh yes, just make everything into solid fuel. But I'd rather make one myself. Why not? Uh, so we'll we'll build our own, and that's something to look forward to. I like that idea. And we'll get that. We'll just bring in crude oil, or maybe borrow some from this, uh, this assembler here. And then we'll set the trains on their way, delivering solid fuel. Probably just for... Well, it might be for... Um, if we want to have a fuel train going to various locations. Um, or uh, LDSs. Not LDSs. Rocket fuel. We need solid fuel for rocket fuel. So that's a thing. All right. So if you can pat the ducks, that would be amazing. Click that like button. Just takes a couple seconds of your time. And it so benefits the channel. It's so important. So I really appreciate all of your, your contributions and thoughts. And I've been reading all the comments. I always read all my comments. I always read the comments. And uh, uh, yeah. And it's really cool to hear your ideas and, and hear from you. So Anyway, that's all I have for today. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.